So these skyrocketing gas prices have a lot of people thinking maybe an electric vehicle is the way to go. They're wondering if it's though worth the high ticket price to buy the vehicle. Uh, do they really make that much of a difference when it comes to your wallet overall? When do they start to make more sense? What about the environment in general? Founder of ClimateDepot.com and Communications Director for CFACT is Mark Moreno, and he joins us now with his take on this. Hey, Mark, good to see you. How are you? Very good, Logan. Thanks for having me on. So interesting. Over the weekend, I drove to the Orange County with a buddy of mine. He's got the Tesla. I've got an SUV. We figured it'd probably cost me $30 to get there and back, and it would cost him about $3. So, of course, we took his car. What do you think about this idea that maybe more and more people are going for the electric cars to save money? You know, if you have the money and there's a and, and it's something that you're all excited about, uh, you know, it's a free consumer choice. The problem is our government policy is essentially trying to mandate electric cars. They're making gas prices higher by not doing domestic energy. And they're also uh, making corporate fuel economy standards for regular cars go through the roof. The problem with an electric car is you might save money in the short term, but your overall investment, there's many studies showing that you may not even get it back in terms of how much you're gonna pay out front. The average price is about $60,000. And at, at the end of that cycle, you know, when you need a new battery, when the car breaks down, that's where you get into a huge uh, expense. But then the question is, are they even green? And that's a whole nother question we have to address. Are, they, are you really saving the earth with an electric car? Yeah, I know a lot of people are concerned about, are they green and, and are you doing your part? And other people just want to save as much money as they can. And maybe the other aspect is kind of a second thought. But, but talk a little bit about that, because I know there are all kinds of different studies. And there's, you know, there's this idea that, boy, you're going to spend a lot of fossil fuel energy to make the batteries and maybe to charge the batteries. And they're not as green as you might otherwise think. Yeah, well, first of all, we don't we can't do the mining here. Actually, I actually visited one of the last rare earth mines in America back in the 1990s. So Lanth and I mine near near Las Vegas out in the Mojave Desert. And essentially, American regu environmental regulations and a climate agenda have shut down American mining, which means these green electric cars in quotes green are getting our rare earth mining from China oftentimes from Africa, things like cobalt for electric car batteries, 70% of the world's cobalt comes from the Congo, which is run by Chinese firms. And there's been allegations of child labor. And one of the things we're finding here is China doesn't have the same environmental standards as us. So we've outsourced our rare earth mining to China, making us more dependent upon it to, to get these electric cars. And then when you plug in your electric car and you're charging it, it's basically America is 80% powered by uh, product, energy production is fossil fuels, oil, gas, coal. And of that 80%, you're plugging your car in, it's chiefly being recharged battery by fossil fuels. So in the end, you're not really lowering carbon dioxide emissions. And you're not really saving the earth by your definition with an electric car. So what do you think happens as we continue to see these prices go up and up and up? And I mean, I've seen $7 at some gas stations in the Los Angeles area. Uh, at some point, people are just going to say, I, I just can't do this anymore. I, I just I, I've got to figure some other way to, to live. Yeah, well, part of it is, again, I think people need to demand from the, the leaders that they want to change in policy. We have energy secretary who's done a video singing the end of gasoline. We have to keep it in the ground. Uh, previous energy secretary wanted European style gas prices in the U.S. to, to help the climate agenda. Well, bingo, we got it. We're getting European style gas prices. But I think what's going to happen. I think that the, the, this current administration is going to have to start opening up more drilling. A federal judge just ruled that they have to open up federal drilling for more uh, energy exploration. I think that's going to be the way we need more domestic energy, not what the International Energy Agency is recommending, which is you can't drive your car on Sunday, odd even license plates. People remember this from the 1970s. Mm. Uh, and they're, they, they literally want, they, there's been a movement afoot to just people smiling at these high gas prices because they don't want you driving a car. They don't want you to have that freedom of movement. They're calling it a new form of energy lockdown with higher prices and shortages coming up. It's very similar to what we experienced with COVID. Stay at home orders. Well, mm. what great way to stay at home than to have skyrocketing gas prices with no end in sight. Yeah, more and more Zoom meetings. All right, Mark Moreno, joining <laughs> us at ClimateDepot.com. Good to see you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.